Okay, give this, you're in Hawaii, you're in a bay, in the ocean, it's dark out, and you're snorkeling with massive sea creatures with gaping mouths. Yeah, this is a pretty thrilling experience. <laughs> I don't know why I say pretty, it is a thrilling experience. But there are a few things that you want to know before you book, so here are five mistakes that you want to make sure you avoid. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Before we jump into the mistakes, a few things to know about manta rays snorkeling, just to give you some context, right? Manta rays are gentle giants. They get up to like 15 foot wingspans. They feed on phytoplankton that is attracted to the light. And that's kind of the history of where, why these guys are feeding at these spots, making it easy for tour companies to go to. The hotels and restaurants used to shine spotlights on the ocean, so phytoplankton would show up and then the manta rays start showing up. Now they offer tours out there. And these are harmless creatures. Like Jordan mentioned, they're gentle giants. They are not stingrays, they are manta rays. They are members of the fish family mm -hmm. and they are absolutely amazing. They creatures. got no barbs, they have no teeth. They, they are very, yeah, graceful. They call them the acrobats of the sea. They're beautiful. In Hawaii, they offer night snorkeling and night dive tours if you want to go out and see the manta rays. We've both done it separately. We've used multiple tour companies and it was an amazing experience. It was great. And we do snorkeling, by the way. We haven't done the diving. We're really just talking about manta ray night snorkeling. Jordan says this is one of the top 10 experiences he's ever done. Top five. Top, top five. five. Yeah. Hopefully after, way up. after meeting me Yeah. <laughs> and having our son. Yeah, exactly. So we've got three left after that. There's plenty of <laughs> yeah. room. This is pretty thrilling. I, it leaves your heart pounding during the experience. It's absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. Number one, don't make this mistake. Going somewhere other than the big island of Hawaii for your manta ray snorkeling. The island of Hawaii is the only island that offers reliable sightings of manta rays. Maui offers some manta ray diving tours, but they see right on the website, like chances of seeing them are very low. They don't come here often. They're trying to go to like close to feeding stations. That's where they just like park themselves on the reef and fish feed, clean them. Really cool, but it's really hard to see them. So if you go to Maui to expect to see manta rays, uh, it's gonna be, you might be it'll be a mistake. Yeah, just go to the big island. The big island has 85 to 95% sighting rates. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. And both times we've gone, we've seen multiple manta rays. Multiple. Yeah, so the big island, the Kona coast too. The Kahala coast down to the Kona coast, we'll go over the locations where, but the big island's where you wanna go. Don't try to go to another island to expect to see manta rays. Tip number two is trying to go out and snorkel by yourselves to find these manta rays. So there are a lot of reasons why this is not something you wanna do. It's not a good idea, right? I know you're saying, oh, I'm gonna save some money and just jump into the ocean at night and go snorkeling with them. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, first of all, it's not safe for you. You are, it is pitch black. You actually forget how dark and confusing it can be to be in the ocean with your head down when it's pitch black, but I was stunned by that on my tour. Like, how disoriented I became, and that's really dangerous. Also, you gotta bring the equipment, you gotta know where to go, and the biggest one is don't ruin it for the manta rays. They are gentle giants, like, you gotta be careful around them, you shouldn't touch them. And that's something they really stress in these tours. Do not touch the manta rays. First, it disorients them. Number two, they have this thin layer of mucus on them, and if you disturb that, it opens them up for infection, and you could hurt them. And they live up to 50 years old, but then you could really hurt them and maybe kill them, so don't do that. Yeah, the idea is to try to observe them without being intrusive, and that's what some tours will help you do. And that leads us right into mistake number three, and that is picking a tour operator who is not on the Manta Green list. So what this list is, is it's a list of tour operators who have promised and they operate with the intention of keeping both you as a snorkeler safe and the manta rays safe to make this a really, really healthy experience for everyone. So they do things like make sure you don't touch the manta rays. So that is a big deal. They will give you noodles and life preservers and make sure that you are well educated on how to not touch them because they do get really close. <laughs> like within an inch of you. They also don't use propellers and they don't anchor on the coral. So there are a number of things that they need to follow to be on the manta green list. So we wanna make sure that we are being really respectful of these animals because they are amazing creatures. And they just want dinner. They do just want dinner. Number four is adjust your expectations. This is not a regular snorkel tour. You're not going out there to see little colorful fish. This is a night dive with these sea creatures that have like 12 to 18 foot wingspans and they do barrel rolls and they're consuming 40 to 60 pounds of 
a phytoplankton at night or a day. Like these things are absolutely amazing. And, and it'll they startle you. It'll startle you. Like, I mean, that's why it's like, it's a thrilling experience. Not like a regular snorkel tour. I mean, these guys are, they're coming an inch within your face. You might see one, you might see three of them all just swarming around you. It is, it is absolutely amazing. So like, go in there. Like, I don't want to set this up for like, you might not see any, right? You got one out of 10 chance of not seeing any, but if you do see them, like, wow, you're going to remember this forever. This is not a regular tour. Yeah. I remember as I was, we were swimming out to find the mantas and we were just, you know, kicking along and all of a sudden out of the corner of my eye, just one swims right under me and I stop and I'm like, and the, was <laughs> and the tour operator stops and he goes, yes, that was a manta ray. Let's keep going. I was like, oh my God, I knew what to expect and I was still shocked. Mistake number five that people make is you got to go where the manta rays are on the big island. All right. So they're on the leeward coast where all the tour operators leave from. So up top, you got one in the South Kohala district, right where the resorts are. Then you have one right by the Kona airport, right offshore. And the most popular one is Manta Village, right in the bay in front of the Sheraton. This place has up to 96% sightings rate. And that's where we recommend going. Even if you're staying up in the Kahala district, like make the drive down. This is I think like nine miles south of Kailua Kona and it's worth it, right? If you're coming from around the world or coming from America, you come a long ways, go to where you have the highest chance of seeing the manta rays. That doesn't mean you won't see them in the other areas, but if you are only planning to do this once and you have one shot to go see them, you might as well make the drive to where you're gonna have the best chance of seeing them. Now that you're well prepared to go snorkeling with manta rays, check out our website. We have an award-winning article on manta rays. Okay, it's not award-winning, <laughs> all right? But it should be. I think it was really good, all right? And then Erica improved it for me. Yeah, so sure check that out. It gives you a lot more details on snorkeling with them and what to look for. We also have our recommended tour providers there, the ones that we have gone on, the ones we trust, the ones that are on the manta green list, so you can have the best time possible. We've just got you covered with everything you need to know. The link is in the description below, so make sure you check that out. One quick bonus tip, right? Yeah, what's that? Don't wait until you get there and you want to go out that night and uh, see manta rays. Let's book early. Yeah. Make book. sure make sure you get the tour you want, the area you want, and the day you want. So book early. Plan and, ahead. and like whale watching too, go early too, like in your vacations. Just in case you don't see them or you had such a good time you want to go again, go in the beginning of your trip. Okay. Last tip too, sorry. There's no season for manta rays. That's a big one, right? We say that in the article too. Whales, they have a season. Manta rays, especially the ones in Big Island, they don't migrate. They're always gonna be there. So go any time of year. Good tip, all Thank right. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you. The sun is almost down. Time to get in. I did wanna share one thing. Um, a lot of people ask how we can do so many activities when we have a three-year-old and Henry clearly can't come on a lot of these activities with us, like you can't go night snorkeling with manta rays. Jordan and I switch off, it, we do this. So um, he got to go last time we were here, I get to go this time. He's going zip lining this trip. Like we just kind of take turns. We just kind of make it work. We choose, pick and choose the activities we really want to do and we just make it work and have a great time. We hope you can make it to the big island to experience this for yourself. Truly bucket list item. <sighs> so pumped. So happy I did this.